Boom! Last Outrider here. Everybody ready for more Black Legion? The Skull Gatherer. As the eighth Black Crusade raged across the stars, the Black Legion struck out from the Eye of Terror in every direction. At first, the Imperium could only guess at the Traitor Legion's plans, as some raids accounted for entire settlements where others only seemed to cause limited carnage by the horrific standards of the Black Legion. On the moons of Tikas, eight of the twenty crater cities were peeled open to the void, their inhabitants freezing in place, whilst the others remained untouched. The Chartist pilgrim vessel, the Divine Path, was waylaid en route and 999 of its passengers were murdered in ascending order of the pilgrims' tokens they carried. The rest were left to weep over the fallen. In what later became known as the Skull Gatherer, tens of thousands were killed across Segmentum Obscurus in a variety of ways and in specific numbers their corpses left in ritualistic patterns. It was a part of a plot to appease the changer of ways, the numbers and patterns creating a mathematical equation of terrible and profane perfection. Whilst Imperial forces pursued the Black Legion, trying to bring them to battle, the Inquisition attempted to break the cipher, driving hundreds of adepts insane in the process. Finally, on the furled world of Rithkarn, the traitors investigated, instigated a massive uprising of mutant workers, plunging the world into chaos and ruin. In the confusion, the Black Legion sacrificed the Council of Tech Magi, in the gears of their own Manufactorum. With their destruction, the complex sequence of death was complete, and the Master of Fates was greatly pleased. The Starving of Cancephalus the naval fortress of Cancephalus sits like a brooding sentinel on the edge of the Cadian Gate. For centuries, it served as a base for imperial wolf packs, hunting down traitor vessels as they tried to slip out of the eye undetected. Heavily defended and well garrisoned, the direct attack upon the fortress repeatedly failed, with Imperial forces easily crushing raiding fleets and minor chaos incursions. During the Ninth Black Crusade, with characteristic cunning, Abaddon gathered a sizable force of traitor legions, but did not attack Cancephalus directly. Instead, he led his Black Legion against the heavily populated world of Antichanus and its principal city of Mon Archive, the seat of its imperial governor. Antichanus had long been a recruiting ground for the ships of Blattlefleet Obscurus, with a proud tradition of supplying captains and officers to the imperial navy. By striking directly at the heart of the world, and besieging its governor in Monarchive, Abaddon forced the defenses of Cancephalus to weaken as ships and men were diverted to Antichanus' defense. In the first hours of the battle, the Black Legion carved a bloody trail into the rating barracks and tactical simulacrum, killing all in their path. Monarchive was primarily a center for imperial naval training, 
and the governor was forced to form regiments of crewmen and deck officers to turn back the invaders. Men who had never held a las gun or walked without a roof above their heads were herded out into the great dome gardens to face the traitor legions. Only the use of naval macro cannons destined for the shipyards and hauled from the manufactorums halted a breakthrough by the traitors before the entrance of Mon Archive's inner chambers. The once proud garden domes were transformed into trench networks and a mangled no man's land of splintered trees and shattered imperial statues. However, it was a losing war for the inhabitants of Antichanus, as their conscript crewmen were wasted in a war of attrition. By the time reinforcements from Cancephalus arrived, the entire world was engulfed in war, both sides digging in for a protracted siege around the ruins of Monarchive. Though Abaddon had not breached the heart of the city, he had raised a huge army of heretics and mutants to rage his war. His sorcerers had also weakened the walls of reality, freeing teeming hordes of demons to attack Antichanus. When Abaddon left orbit, uncontrolled mutation and traitorous citizens continued the conflict, aided by horrors from the warp. The ensuing war on Antichanus lasted for another 17 years before the Imperium dislodged the attackers and finally drove them back into the Eye of Terror. During the bitter struggle, the population of Monarchive was gutted and a generation of naval commanders and officers was lost forever. Cancephalus also paid a high price in ships and crewmen, its numbers depleted, trying to blockade Antichanus from reinforcements by the traitors. The protracted siege meant that patrols and fleets raised at Cancephalus were severely reduced, allowing the Black Legion free reign to raid the sector. During this time, several Chaos fleets were able to leave the Eye undetected, sailing off into the greater Imperium unopposed, their destinations unknown. The conflict on Helica in the 10th Black Crusade, Abaddon forged a dark alliance between the Black Im Legion and the Iron Warriors, making a deal with their demonic Primarch, Perturabo, in exchange for Abaddon agreeing to settle a debt of vengeance against the Iron Hands, Perturabo opened an ancient warp route out of the Eye of Terror for the Despoiler's fleet. The passage, calculated over several agonizing months by the tortured machine spirits of a chain of enslaved cogitators, allowed Abaddon's forces to steal past the layered defenses of the Cadian Gate and into the Helica Sector spineward of the Eye of Terror. Once again, Abaddon employed a carefully planned fit, sending the Black Legion fleet against the Thracian Primaris, 
the capital world of Helica, while he attacked elsewhere. The despoiler also scattered his warlords across the sector and, on scores of planets, traitor vessels thundered down from the skies to kill and maim imperial citizens. While his warlords indulged themselves in the slaughter of imperial worlds, Abaddon traveled with the Iron Warriors to the Medusa system, home world of the Iron Hands. From the vengeful spirit, he watched as the Iron Warriors laid siege to the Loyalist chapter. In a protracted war of attrition, the Iron Warriors systematically burnt the outer worlds of the Medusa system, tearing down the Loyalist defenses one by one. In the burning light of their ruined fortifications, the Iron Hands struggled to hold back the traitors, buying time for their support companies to arrive. Before the bulk of the Iron Hands and their allies could arrive, Abaddon and the Iron Warriors had retreated, leaving hundreds of dead Loyalist Space Marines in their wake. Though Medusa still stood, Abaddon had learned much about its defenses, and the Iron Hands themselves, both of which he would put to good use later. The Doom of Reloria At the outset of the 11th Black Crusade, Abaddon bound a demon of Zinch within the oculus of his vessel, hoping to find a path through the tumultuous warp storms around the eye. Tormented with impossible riddles and twisting falsehoods, the demon was driven completely insane, leading Abaddon thousands of light years off course. Writhing, the demon tore itself apart in a vortex of madness, bending time and space around the fleet. Abaddon's ships were scattered across the void of real space. Undaunted by the failure of his demonic navigator, the War Master loosed his Black Crusade and Legion upon the nearest planet, the cardinal world of Reloria. <coughs> Descending on Reloria, the traitors encountered a rival for their prize, an orc wag, led by Murgor. Undred Teeth. In a vicious and chaotic three-sided war, demons and orcs ripped at each other in the burning ruins of Erloria's vast reflecting towers. Abaddon used this chance to encounter the orcs to conduct unspeakable experiments with demons and alien creatures, attempting to fuse the material and the immaterial together into some new manner of horror. Fascinated by the psychic link between the orcs and their instinctive use of warp energy, the, warp, the war master took thousands of the Xenos back with him to the Eye of Terror to continue his research. The Black Legion eventually retreated from Maloria leaving the battered survivors of humanity to the destruction at the hands of the orcs. So there you go. That's a little precursor for you. Abaddon is experimenting to create chaos orcs. You heard it here. Bye.